Hello, this is Jennifer Coons, one of the reference librarians at the Haverford Township Free Library. And, but you, most of you knew that already. And here we are with Monday's Reading with Reference. Welcome. This week, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to talk about books that have not yet been released or have recently been released, but aren't quite available yet. All right, so first book I want to talk about is Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell. This is historical fiction. It's based on an event that occurred in William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare's Life. The uh, book takes place in 1580. And the event was the death of Shakespeare's only son, Hamnet, who died at age 11 of the bubonic plague. Um, even though the book is based on this event in William, William Shakespeare's life, it he is never mentioned by name in the book. And um, the story is in fact told from entirely from the perspective of the boy's mother. Agnes, and many historians believe that Agnes is a more correct name for Anne, Anne Hathaway, for various reasons. Um, so this was very well reviewed, and uh, it actually was released, looks like um, March 31st it was released, but it's not available yet. And the narrator, oh, I collect audiobooks for the library, so I'm I'm talking about the, the story itself, but also the any audio tidbits that I can add. Uh, narrator has not yet been determined for this one. Uh, the next book is A Children's Bible by Lydia Millett, narrated by Z Sands. Z Sands has narrated a lot of audiobooks and has quite a range. She um, has narrated as an older woman and middle-aged uh, characters as well. And this story is told from a teenager's perspective, and she does a really good job. It's told from the perspective of Evie, who's the daughter of um, her parents, obviously she's the daughter of her parents, but uh, yeah, so she and other families are on vacation in this big manor house. And there's a lot of debauchery taking place with the adults, there's a lot of drinking, uh, and the children are kind of watching all of this. And at one point, Evie says of her parents, um, they didn't do well with long-term warnings, even medium term. So she's referring to climate issues and uh, so there is an environmental catastrophe that occurs. Civil unrest then unfolds and it follows the characters as they are handling this. And the children actually ultimately take charge of the situation. Um, and even as these dire circumstances are unfolding in the book, there is apparently a light touch throughout. And it might be a timely read, just consider glo you know, global events and how they are handled by characters. The next book is The Pull of the Stars by Emma Donahue. Ooh, sorry, I forgot to say that. Children's Bible was released actually May 12th, so really recently. Okay, so next title, Pull of the Stars by Emma Donahue. Many of you may recognize her as the author of Room, which was made into a movie, also a really cool book. This book is narrated by Daisy Donovan, who is lovely, uh, English accent, which goes well. With this book, it actually takes place in Dublin in 1918, follows a nurse as she's caring for expectant mothers who have been um, infected with the deadly flu virus, the, the 1918 flu, and they're in quarantine together. So yeah, that sounded like it might be an interesting read at this point in time. Sorry, I keep forgetting to say, so this actually was is not set to be released until um, July 21st. All right, next. Little Family by Ishmael Bea. Um, some of you may recognize Ishmael Bea as the author of um, A Long Way Home, which is the, it's a um, memoir of his experiences as a child soldier in Africa. So this story follows five children, uh, mostly adolescents and then one, one smaller child who are, who've made a home for themselves in uh, the abandoned fuselage of an airplane in, in a Zimbabwe airport. And they survive by, by their wits and by creating con, you know, by sort of conning people. Um, and that's how they, that's basically how they get food and, and they are close with each other and some are more protective of others. They all have their, some, there's one character who's very bookish, another one who's more 
gritty. Um, at any rate, uh, this book has been described as very tender. Also, you know, situations maybe not, maybe it's not your like easy beach read, um, but off, but very deep and interesting. And this one, I think was, when was it released? April 28th, so somewhat recently. Um, this book is narrated by Dion Graham, wonderful narrator. I would pretty much listen to anything that he read. So I recommend this as a book and as an audiobook. All right, those are my sneak peeks today. Thank you for bearing with me with this weird technology. I know it's not perfect, but um, you know, I'm learning on the job here. So I'm going to say goodbye now. I'm going to need to pull up a screen that looks really weird and ugly, but uh, I need to do that in order to turn the recording off. Thank you. Thanks for me. Bye-bye.